So the next thing we need to do is to know how many grams of a particular element or compound is a mole. Uh, and that's what we call molar mass. Now we're going to um, use that term to replace all sorts of things like um, formula mass or atomic relative atomic mass. Uh, if it's got the word relative in front of it, it's um, it's relative to one twelfth of a carbon twelve um, isotope, which means there's six protons and six neutrons. Uh, that's just a bit of background. It doesn't have units, um, so it could be um, formula mass, formula mass. Um, um, relative ionic mass. We're just going to use this term to apply to all of them. Um, and so that the way we do that is we look at the periodic table uh, and we write it like this with the big M. Uh, and the reason why it's not, um, well, the isotope uh, carbon 12 is has an atomic mass of 12. But because some of the carbon is carbon 14 or whatever, there's a small percentage of that. So the average, if you have a whole block of um, carbon within that is a certain percentage that is slightly heavier because of this carbon 14 um, isotope. And there could be other isotopes if I went and Googled that. And that's why on average, if you take all the average of all the particles or the one mole of particles, um, they actually uh, weigh this much and not exactly 12. Okay, so when you look at the periodic table, that's why you don't have whole numbers because of isotopes. Um, and so that's how you get it. You get the large number here because this is the number of protons. So it's always the big number, um, the mass number. Um, and so what we're going to do now is just do um, work out how to work it out, and which is okay if you're good at naming and writing compounds. So all you do is you go to your periodic table here, you look up the number there, 22.990 for sodium, uh, and then the same for chlorine, because there's one of each, and you just add them together, and that's your uh, molar mass of sodium chloride. Uh, and so if there's a little two down there, then the hydrogen is times by two. Uh, there's just one oxygen, add them together, and you'll get 18 grams per mole. So it's important uh, before we start doing stoichiometry that you know how to work out uh, the molar mass of various compounds. Just a side note, maybe there's an SO4 uh, with a 2. I don't know what that would be. Maybe um, some weird compound of I don't know, which I probably shouldn't write. Um, there's two pluses there, two pluses there. Um, that would be two sulfurs and eight oxygens.